What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a sponsored review for a product that was sent to me from Mosiso and this is a Mosiso Sling Backpack. And so this is a very small type of bag that's like perfect for traveling, for commuting, for hiking, for just, it's like a basically a good day bag that you could use to carry all sorts of different things. And I'll show you guys some examples of things that you can put into here. But it's super affordable, it only retails for 17 bucks currently right now on Amazon. I'll have a link down below in the description to, to purchase this if you're interested in checking it out. But this is just one of 35 color slash pattern variations that they have for this bag. So whether you're, you're a, a girl or a boy or a, an adult or a kid or whatever, you want all sorts of different types of things to pick from, there's lots and lots of choices when it comes to the colors and patterns of things you could, you could find for this particular bag. Uh, like I said, it's available on Amazon. It can fit up to an iPad Pro, up to 11 inch iPad Pro. It has adjustable shoulder straps. It's made of really durable like uh, water repellent material. It's like polyester type of material. So I'll do a good job of protecting it from getting any water or anything on there. Um, it has really good quality zippers on here as well. So let me go ahead and show you some of the pockets to show you how much stuff you can actually put into the bag. So the bag itself is not that not that large, okay? It's a sling bag, so that means it goes over one shoulder. So you are able to swap the clip on from one side to the next if you want to switch which side you want to keep it on, whether over your sh right shoulder or your left shoulder. But the, this is adjustable. This is nice foam padding right here, so it probably would be fine even if you have a lot of weight in here. It's not going to hurt your shoulder or anything if you have to wear it for long periods of time. On the sides, we have both two mesh pack uh, compartments over here, which you could use for things like water bottles. So let me show you if I can fit. So you can fit like a water bottle like that on one side. If you wanted to put maybe an umbrella on the other side. So obviously it can't be too tall, but I mean even these two things, which are pretty long, they both fit in there pretty nicely. So that's that's totally fine right there as well. And if you had a water bottle, that would be even smaller, so that would fit in there even easier. And so we have three different compartments on the bag itself, okay? So we have the first compartment right here, which is basically this whole entire opening is a compartment. So when I open that up, you can store things like your iPhone, you can put your purse, whatever it is, your bag, or like your, your wallets or things like that. Basically, it goes all the way up to the top right here. And the reason that's good is because at the very top, as you can see, we have an opening here, and that's for headphones. So if you have your iPhone or your, your device, your cell phone inside the bag, you can zip it up and you can put your headphones pop out there and put them in your ears while it's on your bag, on your back, and you can have your headphones plugged into the, your device and listening to music and things. So that's kind of cool. So it does have a little port up here. So that does come in handy. So when you unclip the top part right here, so this normally comes clipped. So when you unclip that, you have another compartment, and that's another pouch right here, just a deep pocket. Nothing, there's no organization or anything like that. It's just a big opening right there. So you can put whatever you need to put in there. And when you clip it up, that kind of keeps that up like that so it doesn't fall out of the bag. And then we have our large compartment, which is right inside here. So when we open this up, so this is where you can fit an iPad, uh, up to an iPad Pro 11 inch. I don't have my iPad Pro with me today, but I do have my journal, which is the same size as the iPad Pro. So that kind of fits inside. It's almost like a little, like a laptop type of sleeve pocket right here. So that's where you would put the iPad Pro, which is padded right here and on the bottom of that. And then in front of that, you have a nice large opening. And this thing can get pretty wide, as you can see there. You can open up pretty wide and you can fit a bunch of other things in here as well. There's no clips or anything else, no other pockets. It's just one big opening right there. And then just a little pocket right here to keep your iPad in there, or if you want to keep your journal in there, you could do that too. And that kind of just pops into place in there, like that. And this pocket is completely, goes all the way to the very top of the bag as well. So it goes all the way up here. So if you happen to have something that's really tall that you need to have a little more space, you could pop it into there and flip this over and it can go all the way to the top of the bag. So lots of space, lots of room. Like I said, this is like a really good type of thing for like a day bag, if you're traveling on a vacation or whatever. You need to have water bottle with you. You want to have your camera with you. You want to have, a, you know, your iPad with you. Uh, all those types of things. This is a probably a really good bag for 17 bucks. You can't really go wrong for the price. It's it's a pretty good price point. And like I said, it's available in a bunch of different colors and different patterns. No matter what your style is, you'll be able to find a, a color that probably suits you, and that will work out for your needs. So, the Mosiso Sling Backpack. Like I said, link will be down below in the description if you're interested in purchasing one of these and uh, for yourself. And that's going to be it for me today. If you have any questions about this product, post them down below in the comment section. I'll get back to you guys as quickly as possible. If you want to check out some of my other videos, i got two of the clips over here you can look at. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you click on my face. And don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they drop on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.